Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rob Willis.info here. And this is going to be part 3 in my series of setting up the Elk 5 stack. In part 1 of the video series, I covered installing Ubuntu 1604 desktop, configuring a static IP address, installing and configuring OpenSSH, as well as updating the OS with the newest packages. And then in part 2, I installed Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana to get our Elk stack up and running. And then I also went ahead and installed and configured Nginx to act as a reverse proxy in front of Kibana. And that's going to handle our HTTPS connection as well as the basic authentication. And then finally, I install FileBeat on the local Elk stack server. So one, we can verify that the Elk stack is actually up and running. And then two, so we can actually start viewing and analyzing logs via Kibana. Alright, so I'm back on the uh, Elk server that we set up in the previous video, and at this point it's only receiving logs from itself to itself. So in this video we're going to go ahead and set up a remote Windows 2012 R2 client, and we're going to set up the uh, WinLog beat agent, and we're also going to set up the file beat agent. We're going to pull in the Windows event logs, and we're also going to pull some logs from IIS. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm over here on my Windows 2012 R2 VM, and, I and the first thing I want to do is make sure and test that I have connectivity to the Elk stack server. So I'm just going to pull up PowerShell real quick, and the first thing I'm going to do is test uh, dash net connection. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this command in real quick. Um, but it's just going to be test dash net connection and the IP address of the Elk stack server. And I'm also specifying the port 5044 um, because that's where Logstash should be listening for our beats input. And we see that it looks like the connection was successful over the TCP port. Um, but if you don't want to use PowerShell and you have the Telnet client installed, you could also use that. You could just Telnet to the IP address of the Elk stack server and specify that port 5044. And uh, we see that it also looks like the connection was successful. So uh, we should be good to go ahead here. So once you've gone ahead and tested and verified connectivity to the Elk stack server, the next thing you'll want to do is download and install the Elastic Beats agents. So if you just go to the Elastic website, it's www.elastic.co, and then in their download section, you'll see the Beats agents. And there's a whole bunch of agents. We got FileBeat, PacketBeat, WinLogBeat, and MetricBeat. And in this case, I'm going to install FileBeat and WinLogBeat. So go ahead and download the Beats agents that you want to install, and you'll have to uh, download them locally and then unzip them or extract them. And you'll see that I've already gone ahead and downloaded the file beat and the win log beat locally, but you would just right click and extract all. Um, but I went ahead and extracted them to C elk dash beats, and you'll see I've got the file beat and the win log beat agent right there. So I'm going to go ahead and install the win log beat agent first, uh, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and close PowerShell and reopen it. And I want to make sure that I reopen it as a, I want to make sure I run it as administrator this time, uh, just to make sure I don't run into any permission related issues. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the uh, PowerShell command to install the service. And, uh, oh, actually, it's a previous command to use, so I'm just going to control C that real quick. And, uh, you know what, before we do that, I actually have to change to the directory that I extracted the WinLog beat to. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'll copy the command to CD, and I'm just going to CD to Elk Beats uh, WinLog beat and the version number. And then from there, I can go ahead and run the PowerShell script that I want to. A and I'm just going to copy and paste the command, but it's just going to be. Uh, powershell.exe and I'm going to specify the execution policy I'm going to bypass it and then the file is going to be install service winlogbeat.ps1 and you'll see that that file actually exists in the uh, winlogbeat directory there and I'm just going to hit enter to run the script and create the service and we see that it looks like it does so successfully alright so now that the service is installed we need to edit the configuration file and the winlogbeat.yml can be found in the same directory as the powershell script but I'm just going to go ahead and open that up with notepad plus plus and take a look at it real quick so uh, notice that the defaults are to pick up the application security and system logs uh, I'm okay with that I'm just going to stick with those defaults here um, but scrolling down a little bit you notice that the uh, default is the uh, um, output to Elasticsearch so I'm just going to go ahead and actually comment that out because I want to send my data to logstash and uh, I'm going to uncomment the uh, output dot logstash colon and then I'm also going to uncomment the host colon field and I'm going to change the local host to the uh, IP address of the elk stack server that I set up and that's going to be 192.168.2.85 and it's also specifying that port 5044 that we set up the uh, uh, logstash beats listener for alright so now that I've made the changes that I need to I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save the file and then I'll need to restart the or start the service if it hasn't started already. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this and then pull up services.msc. All right, and I'm just going to locate my WinLog beat service once this pops up here and make sure that it actually starts. And we see there it is right there. So I'm just going to right click and start it. 
and verify that it starts and stays started. Uh, if it doesn't stay started, you most likely made an error in the configuration file. You have to go back and review that. All right, so WinLogBeat should be set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and configure FileBeat. So this install is gonna go basically the same as the WinLogBeat agent install. I'm gonna change directory to where I extracted FileBeat, which is gonna be C Elk Beats FileBeat in the version number. And we see that there's the install service FileBeat PS1 script there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use PowerShell to go ahead and run that script. And I'm gonna do PowerShell.exe, execution policy bypass, and I'm gonna specify that install script. And I'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and hit enter and we see that it installs the service successfully. So now that the service is installed, let's go ahead and open up the configuration file, which is just going to be filebeat.yml, and it's located in the same directory as that PowerShell script. But uh, we notice that it has the input type of log and then the path to the directory of our logs. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste over this one here, or you could comment it out or do whatever you want, but I'm just going to paste over top of it. But I'm going to do C inetpub logs and log files along with the two wildcards, because that should be the default IIS logging directory. And we see that it is actually here. So we have system drive, inetpub, logs, dot log, logs, and then log files. And then the two wildcards on the end will be for the uh, service, which is for each, I, um, each site in IIS and then the actual log file itself and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I want to uh, uh, want to comment out the uh, elastic search options because we're not going to put any output to elastic search and then I want to uncomment the logs dash options and uh, I want to do the same thing I did on the win log beat I'm going to change the uh, local host to the uh, IP address of the elk stack server which is going to be 192.168.2.85 and specify that port of 5044 and then we go ahead and save the configuration file and uh, start the service. And so I'm just going to pull up my services.msc and locate the uh, filebeat service. And let me just refresh real quick here. And uh, there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and right click and start that service. And same thing with the uh, as the win log beat. As long as the service keeps running, we know that it's good. Otherwise, there's most likely a uh, error in the configuration file. All right, so it looks like we're good to go there. Um, but uh, so I'm just going to pull up the uh, local host real quick in a web browser, and uh, just so we have a hit against our IIS server. But it's just a basic IIS server installed here, nothing fancy. And uh, now let's go back to our Elk server and uh, set up the index patterns to receive the data we just configured. All right, so now back on the Ubuntu machine here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Kibana and then go to the management section and the index patterns. Now, FileBeat shouldn't need an index pattern since we previously set that up on the Elk stack server itself. So I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and click add new and we're gonna add one for the WinLogBeat agent. So I'm just gonna do WinLogBeat dash wildcard and then I'll also need to set a time field name which I'm just gonna do um, at timestamp and a little drop down here and then after that I can go ahead and click the create button if you don't if the great if the create button is grayed out that's most likely because you're not receiving any data that fits that pattern um, so you need to go back and check your configs for that but uh, we see that it picks up the fields from the data that's being sent in and uh, let's go over to the discover tab now and see what we can find all right, so just quickly looking at the file beat index pattern, we look at the beat host name and we see that it's already pulling in logs from our Windows Elk machine. And that's gonna be our IS logs there. Um, but let's go ahead and pull up the win log beat index pattern and uh, see what we can see there. And we see that we're searching for in the last 15 minutes. And you see that it successfully pulls up the Windows event log data from our server here. And then on the left hand side, there's a bunch of fields that we can then use to further break down and sort the data by. Like for example, let's find the event ID field and then go ahead and add that. And then from there we should be able to see the top 5% uh, event IDs that we're seeing in the environment. So imagine this whenever you have a bunch of servers reporting back. If you have an issue going on, you could easily identify it here because you would most likely see a bunch of those errors popping up in your environment. And then from there you can kind of go and take care of it as you need to. But I just this is just a good example of with this kind of setup, you can actually get a lot more insight into your environment and what's going on on a daily basis than you normally would. But you can do it from an easy central single location. I also like to use this kind of setup with my IIS servers a lot and I'll look for things like what IP addresses are making the most amount of requests in a specific time frame and who's generating the most amount of errors. Is this malicious and then I can review it from there and then ultimately decide if I need to block these addresses. 
And I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this series. At this point, we've gone ahead and configured a basic Ubuntu 16.04 machine, uh, configured the ELK services on top of that, along with Nginx to sit in front as a reverse proxy and serve up our HTTPS connections, as well as the basic authentication. And we've also set up a remote Windows 2012 R2 machine to ship its Windows event logs and IIS logs back to our ELK server. I hope you guys found the videos informative, and I also hope that it helps you get your own ELK stack set up and running and you start ingesting your own logs into. If you really liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.